Hello guys, so today we mark two weeks and some days since I removed oil in my nose. So let's get into it. Today I won't be using finger gloves, but yeah, I'm still gonna do it for those that don't have finger gloves, right? So I wanna say this warning to you guys. For anybody seeing this video for the first time or any other video you're gonna see on anything that is fascinating, don't be in a rush to do it immediately. Look for a tutorial first on the page or ask for one before you try. Don't try to squeeze your nose or do it. No, no. Let's get into it. I'm showing you again the steps of going into pressing your nose. For the first time, as you have to make sure flexible as far as you sure it's flexible then you're good to go right let's press this out oh guys I'm not having much oil clogged in my nose no more yes so it's working guys let's get the middle Guys, for real, compare the last time I did this, I still have much clogged oil, but see, no much clogged oil anymore. It's working. It's really working. So it's reducing my clogged oil and reducing, and my nose is still good. Those that keep lying about lines in your nose is a lie, guys. There's no line if you do it gently and not too hard, okay? All right, um, I'm about to clean my nose, wipe it out of, and get into the next aspect of how you can get oil out of your nose or face area majorly for me I have it on my nose I don't really have much on my face or my forehead as some people may have and also I have it on my chin so let's get to my chin aspect mm. for chin aspect let me explain it in detail before I do it one more time put your lower lips inside right and you let your teeth down your lower teeth push this area of the skin out like it's spreading it. Let's go. Alright, so some of you might have braces, as you can see. The oil is out. Some of you might have braces, and for that reason, you might not be able to do this. So, this is what you can do. You can have your wipe ready, or your either towel, which is the next aspect I'm gonna show you, ready, and you just spread once you spread like that you leave it spread like that and you take your wipes then you do this apply pressure the wipe is gonna clean that out fold it in it's a new spot keep spreading I'm gonna get the oil out so you guys can see my nose is not really that clogged like before which means that I won't be doing this in the next two weeks, I might be doing it in the next one month. So guys, it's working. You can actually reduce the intensity of clogged oil in your nose, which results in pimples and blackheads in your nose by doing this. But do it gently and no more than one time, every two weeks or once a month. For kids, you could do it probably if you have it, if you're 11 year old and you have it, you could do it like once in every two months because I don't expect you to even have it till you're 14. I think that's age kids or anyone stabbing acne in their face or nose, right? So let's wipe this out. Mm. All right, so we have that wiped out. For those that have oil on your forehead, on your cheeks, on your chin, let's get into it. Mind you, you see this black spot? I'll explain to you how I got this black spot and it's something I want you guys to be careful about so you don't have the same bad experience I had, right? Oh, okay, so we have to get it very of your nose. Uh, you, if you didn't get enough, for those that can press their nose, you could use the ear toe, which I'm about to use right now. All right, I got my toe ear up and ready to use because I don't have much in anymore. I'll just be doing the massage for. 10 seconds. After that, we'll move to the next area. Don't use the same area of the towel on a different spot, right? 
just reach my today for less than 10 seconds you can hide it in this part now you see folding it up you can close it out and use a whole different part still warm all right so you see all this high This up and my forehead. Take this back a little bit to get my forehead. Does it have forehead? Use the editor on it and think you're good. Once you're done with this, you notice your skin is dried out. It's not shiny, it's not oily. It's dried out. That means the editor actually worked. Right? So after doing this, you can wash your face with soap. You should wash your face with soap, which I'm about to do. face make sure you're doing the circle motion my face this spot right here uh, what I want to say about this spot right here that I need you guys to take note of is if you have pimple around your face and you're trying to use the either too well on your face make sure you don't pop the, the pimple before using either either too well use the either too well first then pop the pimple right I had blackhead I think it was blackhead on my face right here and I was so desperate to just get the satisfaction of pressing it right then what I did was I popped it out, not knowing I already bruised my skin, making my skin so soft and sensitive, right? And even almost injured. I didn't even know that, right? After then trying to get a blackhead out, I went further to using the editor on my face. And guess what? I got bruised. And my mistake was I actually let the editor more than warm the temperature was way beyond being warm just almost hot right i want to see if i could get more oil out or destroy the blackheads more but i ended up giving myself a tiny bruise and yeah it's healed anyway and right now this is just a black spot but if you have black spot in your face don't worry about black spot you don't really need this product anyway just make sure you're washing your face regularly having your bath regularly and the black spots will disappear over time okay all right 